Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, I'll be unboxing a great little set, The Godsworn Hunt. I saw The Godsworn Hunt on a video by Siege Studios, and they did an incredible paint job, and I just, as soon as I saw that, I thought I have to get these, and they're gonna make a great addition for the Untamed Beasts for Warcry. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out that video by Seed Studios. Uh, just a fantastic job they did on these miniatures. But in this video here, I'll unbox them, show you what you get in the box here, and um, then I'll build them and you can see them assembled. And I'll just do a little comparison next to the Scions of the Flame so you can see how big they are and how they're going to compare to some of the other Warcry warbands. So these are from Underworlds, and I picked them up on Games Workshop for £15, and you can get another set that come with the cards, but I just went for the miniatures here. Okay, let's get on with it, get these open and see what we get inside. And a bit disappointed with the box. I've been so spoiled with the Warcry artwork and the packaging, which has been so awesome, uh, to get this white box in the post, and the one I had for the Chimera is a little disappointing, but at the end of the day, I'm just buying it for the contents, not the box it comes in, so let's see what we get. And you can see here, we're going to get two small sprues and a little booklet and um, nothing else. Nice and simple. No trays or anything like that inside the box. So that's everything there. Let's get rid of that box out of the way. And here we go. So we've got our two small sprues and the bases come on the sprues for these, which is pretty common with the Underworld miniatures. And the book, and the book came like with a bit missing, which was really disappointing. I didn't expect that at all. I mean, you expect things to be really like crisp and neat with Games Workshop, uh, or at least in my experience so far, it's been really good. So to get a booklet that's cut like that, it's a little disappointing. Um, but again, I'm only gonna use it to build them, so it's, it's no big deal, really. I quite like these bases that come with the Underworld miniatures, because they're all kind of built for you. You just have to paint them, and that's one stage saved. So we can certainly get them to the tabletop in a battle ready standard really quickly with this. So I was happy to see those bases there. And I love the detail on the miniatures. And I think these are gonna make a great addition to the untamed beasts. And I'm gonna use them once I start going into the campaigns to use them as extra miniatures. And certainly with the untamed beast cards, they're gonna work really well, I think. I mean, look at this guy with the bow, he's gonna fit in. And although there's no ranged fighter, I think we can make one, no problem. And here's the second sprue. Again, those bases are so great. And we've even got another beast that we can use with the untamed beasts. And so lots of different weapons, axes, spears. It's all gonna fit in so nicely and with the different furs and leathers and bones and teeth, these are just perfect, a perfect addition to add to an untamed beast warband. Right, let's take a look at the instruction book. I don't think these are gonna to be too difficult to put together. Uh, certainly with those bases, and you're only getting a couple of pieces here for the main miniature. So just two pieces plus the base. And there we go. Job done. That's all we need. And the same here for this one. Very simple to assemble. Just two pieces each. So these aren't going to take me long. And then you've got all the, the stats for the Age of Sigmar game. Or for Underworlds. I think this is for Age of Sigmar. So you can include them in an Age of Sigmar army. Um, but we're going to just use them for Warcry. So we don't need any of this. So once they're built... I'm not really going to look at this book again. But if you play Underworlds, I think it would be a good idea to pick up the pack with the cards that come with it specifically for Underworlds. But if you play Age of Sigmar, you're going to get all the details there. And here on the back, we've got a nice paint guide, one for the main miniature, and then one that's going to go across the rest of them nice and easily. And I love the paint guides. I think they're really handy. And although there's no contrast paints on here, I think this is a good guide to get started and work alongside the artwork with. But these are great looking miniatures. I mean, the painting on these is fantastic. I think the, the, the kind of positions they're in, um, the movement you get from the cloaks and everything, I think it's great. So that's everything we get in the box, our two sprues and our book. Right, I'll get these built and then we'll take a look at them fully built in this video. And then I'll also compare them to the Scions of the Flame miniatures so you can see the size difference. And then we'll also look at some of the fighter type cards from the Untamed Beasts and then we can see which fighter types these miniatures are going to be best suited for and whether we need to kind of make any more or like make up our own characters, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'll get on with that now and I'll see you back here with some built miniatures. 
And here we go. Here's all the Godsworn Hunt all built and assembled. It didn't take long at all. And here we can see they look great. I mean, this character here is awesome. I mean, he looks like a, he could easily be a champion for one of the war bands. And he's going to be like for a hero or one of the mercenaries. He's going to play really nicely. And here's our main character. And she is just terrific. I love this cloak and the movement that comes from that. And I think she could certainly fit in as a leader figure. No problem. And another one here. A great pose. The variety of weapons is awesome. And this one perhaps doesn't fit in as much with the Untamed Beast because with the, the weapon there. But this one does. And I think having a ranged fighter in the Untamed Beast is going to be really good. So I'll just have to see how we can do that. Maybe create another fighter type card for him. That would be good. And the spear is awesome. That fits right in. There's a spear uh, carrying warband member. And this could also kind of fit in with the Corvus Cabal. But, but not really, I don't think. And here we go. We get another beast. So this can take the place of the Rock Tusk Growler. And so you could either build a completely new warband from these or use them to ramp up the points for a campaign. So this character here, she's called Thedra Skull Scryer, and she's the leader of the Godsworn Hunt. And if you're, you know anything about these, you might know the names for the other characters. So it'd be great if you do, if you could let me know in the comments below, that'd be awesome. This is definitely my favourite one out of the whole pack. And I think it's such a great miniature. And here's our next one. This dude's pretty mean looking. He's got a mad axe there. He looks so good. I think these are such great miniatures. And for £15 to get six like this, I thought I was really happy with the price too. Now here's our spear thrower. And she looks great. Really animated poses with these. There's lots of movement with this ball band that I really liked. And then here's our beast. So this is really cool to have that extra beast there. The archer. The archer's really great. I think this archer's going to fit in with the Untamed Beast the most. And I really like this character too. He looks like a kind of mean hero character. And here they are all lined up with the Scions of the Flame. And you can see how they compare nicely size-wise. They're going to fit right in perfect. And even with our Brazen Champion there on that extra piece of like cork base, he's not that much taller than them. So you can see you've got some really nice height from these. And they're great looking miniatures. Here's the card for the Rock Tusk Growler, and you can see that we could just swap the models, or we could have two different beasts here and use the same card, so that's no problem. So it's good to have a little bit of variety as well, I think, in the warband there. So this is a great way to get started, adding them into the warband. And here's one of the Prey Takers. Again, he's got the same kind of style and similar weapons and everything, so it'd be no problem to have an extra Prey Taker there with Axe. And then we've got another Prey Taker coming up with the sword. So this is like the Bone Sword. But you could easily use this as well as a reference. And that would work really well, I think. And now we've got our Untamed Beast First Fang. And there's no way I'd swap this out for the model from the Godsworn Hunt with the spear. This is just too good. But you could certainly use the spear holder from the Godsworn Hunt as a Prey Taker, maybe. And here's the Heart Eater, and there's no way he's going to be replaced. It's just probably one of the best miniatures from the original Warcry Warbands. Um, but the Thedra Skull Scryer could certainly be a leader uh, that you could swap out for different quests and things. So that would be quite fun. And play in the kind of narrative style, and, you know, not in a competition or anything like that. It would be great to come up with some unique abilities for her maybe in the future. I think that would be really fun. So that's the direction I'm planning to go in with the Godsworn Hunt. And let me know what you think about these miniatures in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas. Maybe you've played them for a while before, or maybe you even include them in your own warband. I'd love to hear it. I'll put some links in the description so you can pick these up if you want to. And I really hope this video has helped you out and given you an idea of what you get in the box and what's included. Thanks so much for watching, please like if you like it, subscribe for more content like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.